we've got ATC at Fisk. We've got Jack Pelton, who's the head of EAA. And it's all going to be about Air Venture on this episode of In the Hangar. Hello and welcome to In the Hangar. We're at the Flying Ice booth. I'm Dan Milliken. And I'm Christy Schaefer. And I'm rocking the new 9X by Flying Ice. So check it out. They got a lot of new cool frames here. They do. And I'm Bailey. And I'm looking super fly, like what I did there. <laughs> and the Athenes. The so. Athene. And I've got the Luzons, which, by the way, the the for Bailey and I, um, it is prescription. So if you think of owls, that's what Well, uh, he the said name mine is. was an owl, too. A Ninox is an I owl. Guess, okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah, see? Yeah. Alex said yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, uh, we are at the Flying Ice booth where if you come during your adventure and use our discount code, it will work here at the booth. And that's yes. taking off all caps, one word, 10% off. You can also use it online at flyingeyesoptics.com. And also, Clemens Insurance brings this to you at Jerry... He knows how to work the uh, paperwork, make sure he asks you the right questions to get you lowest rate. He brings us here. He can bring you the insurance there. Ooh. Okay, so let's. we're going to be talking about air traffic control at Fisk, which is amazing. We're going to be talking about Jack Pelton. But this is Air Adventure. It's day one. Day one. Are you excited? One. Oh, my gosh. To say the least, I'm thrilled. This is my first time with you guys. Yep. So I'm super excited to see what it's going to be like as a media influencer. Yeah. Although I don't know if I claim that title. but <laughs> well, I know people say influencer, and I, think of the, I, I just don't think of myself as an no, influencer. No. I'm like the... Sectional wearing, Sectional pilot. taking off Christy. That's who I am. <laughs> All right. Well, we talked uh, with Jack Pelton, the, the head of EAA, about what are must sees. And Jack kind of surprised me. He said he brought it back to you. Come for the planes. You stay for the people. The must see is the people. The uh, you know the friends that you see once a year in July. Um, so barring that, Christy, what's your must see here at AirVenture? The airplanes, duh. <laughs> she comes for the, the planes. VOR. Yeah, I, I came for the VOR. Yesterday was day zero, so Brian and I, and even Bailey a little bit, like we got to hang out, and I did my annual pilgrimage out to the Osh <laughs> VOR. I said my three prayers, and yeah. Well, uh, I hear they're phasing VORs out. Yeah, so. I know they're a dying breed. It'll be so. a it'll be a GPS invisible marker in the sky that it you can't man. visit. Well, they're GPS points now. So we still give VOR to VOR points, but instead of it being the actual VOR, you know, where you tune the green needle, you just direct to pink needle. All right. So, Bailey, uh, it's the first time you're with the taking off team, but you've come once before. What's your must see here? I mean, I think it's obvious. I've got to see the night show. Ah, you ah, stole mine. I mean, nice. Yeah, I'm super pumped to see that. That was definitely my awestruck moment for when I came back as a spectator. So coming now, I'm, I'm anxious to see what's new for them on the table. All right, and Jack Pelton talked to Bailey and I about the night show, and they are bringing, not only are they bringing drones, they're bringing the company that did drones at the Super Bowl and mixing wow. it all in yeah. with the fireworks and everything else. So Wednesday and Saturday night, well, that was my must-see, so now Sorry, I don't know I what it. to say. Well, I'll tell you what, a must-see <laughs> for me is just, I just got to see Corsairs. The as, Corsairs, as yeah, you can as, never get enough yeah. You can never get enough uh, F4U Corsairs, so I want to see Corsairs. Awesome. All right, well, with that, this is the world's busiest airspace during this week. Yes. And it all begins for the general aviation that's arriving and flying in, the 10,000-plus planes. They're all going to do what's, or most of them are going to do what's called the Fisk arrival. Um, Chrissy, I've never been to Fisk before this. I have. And you have. It's pretty unique what they do. So the three of us were able to catch up with Elizabeth from the FAA. She's the, the manager and she fills us in on what uh, Fisk is all about. Just, look, just look at that rock. Look at that rock. That was so aggressive, you guys. <laughs> no, seriously, we're out here judging wing rocking today. And with it. Elizabeth, uh, the air traffic manager. Elizabeth, um, it's exciting. To be, this is my first time at Fisk. But now, sure. Christy, you're a veteran here. Yeah, yeah. I, I love coming to Fisk. I just come hang out with the air traffic controllers and watch airplanes. Like, this is, this is my happy place. What more can you ask for? I know. <laughs> and Bailey's first I'm time. also a newbie as well, yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome to Fisk. It's uh, a little bit different than what you see down at the field, but it's just as entertaining. So, How did Fisk come about? 
Um, so what we did was we took Fisk and we put this VFR approach here so that not all the airplanes were pointed directly at the airport. And it gives us that opportunity to take that time to separate those airplanes out about a half mile in trail spacing as they come inbound. Um, keeps it a little more organized, allows us to separate the faster guys a little higher, the slower guys a little lower, and then break them out for the separate runways, um, depending if they're going to the 927 or the 1836. Did you guys purchase this property? Uh, we leased this property from a, a homeowner here in town. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, I bet they love that, though. I bet <laughs> they love that. No, we like, try I, to be I'm polite. Like, yeah, like, I'm genuinely, like, serious, though. I bet they love, because, you know, this is awesome. You're using your property for yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as they understand, yeah. Uh, so, Christy, what, when was the first time you ever rocked your wings at Fisk? That was actually just two years ago. Prior to that. Oh, really? Yeah, so prior to that, I would actually fly the Warrior to Watoma. Okay, um, okay. Which was a little bit crazier and no air traffic controllers. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I had a hangar space there that I would park the Warrior because, yeah, you know. And sure. then I would just drive over this way. But two years ago, I got to rock my wings coming in and it was unbelievable. Like, we literally, like, rocked. It so. is. It's like a right to come in on that, you know. It's like, it's a badge no, of it honor is. You to have to do it at to least rock your wings. once. If you're going to fly to Oshkosh or, you know, in the vicinity, you have to go to Fisk, rock your wings, get your runway assignment, and then land on that dot. Yeah, absolutely. So Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about the breakdown of the crew. Like how, what does it take to become an air traffic controller out here? Okay, so all of the controllers bid the position. So we take controllers from all over the country and they bid to come out here. As a volunteer. As a volunteer. Wow. Um, yeah, so they are paid FAA employees while they're out here, but they have to bid it. There's a bidding process that's in our contract for all the union employees. And uh, they are in teams of four. So we've got a team lead, a veteran, a limited and a rookie so we've got all levels of experience that way <laughs> we can cool. train that's up really, that's really cool. um, year after year so we can get them plus we then have um, supervisors and operational managers out here too helping them out so, so you guys see like the same people over here or out here over and over again um, so all the different teams rotate through all the different locations so we work out here at Fisk we have two positions in the tower we have a, no a north local and a south local um, plus we have uh, <laughs> we have um, what we call moo cows, which are mobile operations communication workstations, which are at the uh, ends of the runways, and those are typically for departures. Um, and then we also operate Fond du Lac Temporary Tower. Oh, cool. Okay, yep. yeah. So we friend, rotate through them. Our good friend Brian Kelly comes out. I know he rotates through yep. it as well. Yep. So he's in tower. We've seen him out here at Fisk, and yeah, yeah. that's awesome. And, and the the four person team stays together as they rotate. Yes. So they bid as a four-person team and they stay together and then they rotate through the different positions. So we have spotters, communicators, and then the team leads usually providing guidance. That's awesome. So yep. what are some of the elements that go into y'all's, I guess, review process for selecting the air traffic controllers? Um, so we look at experience. Have they been here before? What's their experience? Uh, we also look at how many years they've been to Oshkosh, what facilities they're at, what their ratings are, and we look at their seniority level and then we kind of gauge on that where, they, where we put them in a category and then we select 16 from each category. So it makes sense that you would have air traffic controllers that are also pilots. Correct. Yeah, awesome. There's a few of well, us that are, yeah. Well, and what's the breakdown then as far as like how many apply and how many get selected? Um, I'm not exactly sure how many we had apply this year, but I select 64 controllers. Uh, we have wow. 12 supervisors, six uh, operational managers. So yeah, there's Is that a few. like then a hundred, hundreds? or maybe even a thousand people? I would say there's probably 120 applicants this year that applied okay. for the controller So about, you got a 50-50 shot. Then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good. Where does one get a really cool pink whistle? That's what I, I want know. to know. <laughs> the whole pink attire. <laughs> oh, I like, I like well, it. Okay. okay, so two years ago, Christy and I got to do the tower tour. Sure. And sure. and she ended up that she got a I got a lanyard. A oh, lanyard. did you? Right. It is oh, at I'm home in on a, my in, in a my bag. In a box. Yeah, it's, in a I, it's on my brag board. I have like a little media board. brag board, a little cork sure. board, and it cool. is hanging on my brag board. That's so awesome. That's I, awesome. I look at it all the time. So, um, so did you guys do any additions to the arrivals this year? Um, we did make a slight change to the arrival this year as far as our holding procedures are okay. concerned. So what we added was what we call the, we call it the racetrack hold. It works good when we have short-term holds. Um, say there's an accident on the field, or mm. even just like F-16s are coming inbound for 3-6, or we have a mass arrival or something like that, and we need to hold some aircraft. Kind of just makes one big loop, and they end up back at the starting point, depending what our starting point is, if it's 
um, Green Lake, Rush Lake. So it could uh, be a Huck big. Lake. So yes, sometimes it can be a big one. Um, but what's nice about that is it always keeps a flow coming inbound. So when we're ready to open it back up, we have that flow ready to come in. Awesome. Um, and then after the show, before we open up, um, then we have them holding over the three individual lakes. Well, um, now I came in, was it two years ago? Two years ago, I flew in Lola. Um, so that was my time to do sure, fish. But that sure. was the first year that you guys actually extended out the reporting points. The, okay, yeah. whatever, the starting points. Oh, yeah. And it was a piece of cake. We were reason. way out past Rush Lake. I remember coming sure. in. It well, was... for me, it wasn't too bad. I came in on a Saturday late morning. <laughs> it was um, marginal. Yeah. And so it was... It wasn't as busy then. No, it yeah, wasn't. It, sure. The only problem I had was that they put... So I got back past Fisk. Got They put me in the downwind. And then they kept calling out, you know, a white uh, Skyhawk to begin your base turn. I'm like, where is a white sky? I was looking everywhere <laughs> for the white skyhawk and they're screaming at the white skyhawk. Like, oh no. Oh, do you mean well, the centurion? Me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, centurion start your base yeah, turn. Yeah. It's a little hard sometimes to tell that I'm not a skyhawk. Right. Hashtag not a, skyhawk. not a skyhawk. <laughs> okay, so that that makes me wonder. So I I personally have never flown into Oshkosh through sure. the Fisk arrival. So what would you suggest for maybe privates who are doing this for the first time? Um, definitely watch the videos the EAA puts yes. out there. Ooh, those that's are very fantastic. Cool. Yes. Um, they actually have videos of people flying in on the Fisk arrival, so you can see it, you can hear it. Read through that notice. We put that notice out. We work really hard on it. There's a lot of really good information in there. And have it with you when you're in the airplane because we will reference yes. it as you're coming in. We'll tell right. you what page to take a look at, where we're at, so that way they can they can reference it. And it changes every year. Like yes. I feel like you guys taken the information from this year and then you make changes to apply to next year to yep. make it even better so it's just a continuous it's very thing. refined right. and, yep. and it is oh, yeah. I, mean, I know when i did it two years ago it was smooth and it was good yeah so yeah. you guys do a, an incredible job no you guys are rock stars you, you are. really literally are. my hero <laughs> we're literally talking about that this morning <laughs> we, we tried. tried yeah bailey and i were like walking by we're like oh, there's our there they are. <laughs> they're wearing so the we, picture we love you guys yeah <laughs> if you can't tell well we love we love being here for us this is like the super bowl of air traffic so no yeah. this yeah. is amazing it certainly is yeah, yeah well elizabeth thank you so much thank it's you. great Appreciate meeting it. you thanks for letting great. us wander around thank you so much i'm so glad you guys could come out bailey what what surprised you about what Elizabeth had to say? You know, honestly, it just it's so cool to see how they're wanting to integrate a wider mix of air traffic controllers. I think it's cool that they wanted to see not only your experts, your veterans, but also your rookies around there. So it was cool to hear about that. Yeah, the, every every team of four people has somebody new, somebody experienced. That's yeah, very cool. somebody yeah. somebody old, somebody new. Yeah, it's somebody, like a wedding. Yeah, somebody exactly. blue. Yeah, <laughs> somebody blue. Um, I love how organized they are. Yeah, like yes. they are just incredibly organized, and you should see them. They are rock stars. Yeah, and what's amazing is they learn every year from what they've experienced and they apply it towards next year's NOTAM and next year's procedures. So, Yeah, she was telling us about a new holding procedure that I thought was really cool. Just something that you can tell. It Safety's streamlines it. Mm -hmm. Yes, of their mind. Yeah, and it's refined every year, so that, that is pretty cool. Absolutely. If you can come out to Air Venture, it's a great time. It's it's only like 60,000 of your closest friends. <laughs> Over 10,000 airplanes. It's pretty phenomenal. I'm excited. Oh, I'm super excited. I'm thrilled. I'm, I'm ready to go. All right. So don't forget our sponsors, Colton Mortgage, ColtonTakingOff.com for residential mortgage, 67 Designs, the best camera tablet mounts out there, 67D.com, ZVision, the brightest landing and taxi lights out there, and Marshall Protective Services. We miss Nick. Nick is uh, the head of Marshall Protective Services. He's down with a hamstring, couldn't do all the walking, so we don't have Nick out here. But mpsprotects.com, you can go and visit him there. We already <laughs> talked about flying eyes, but I'll talk yeah. about them again. You guys come down, taking off all caps, one word for your 10% off. Yeah. So, all right, we'll see you guys next time. We're going to be bringing you, in the weeks and months ahead, a lot of content from AirVenture. Thanks. <laughs>